I saw a quote the other day and it said that taking care of yourself is productive. Yo, what's good guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Class of COVID-19 series. How have I been? Um, <sighs> I've been in the house for two months and I had to face my inner ghosts. So this week is the Mental Health Awareness Week. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to stress the fact that mental health is just as important as physical health. And I think in a society where um, physical image is glorified so much, um, it's easy to forget that. It's not just a week in the year. It paves the way for um, stigmas surrounding mental health to become lessened. I see it as a time to remember that everyone has their own internal battle that you may know nothing about. On one hand, I think it's super important for people, especially people of colour, to talk about the struggles that we face. Um, I think being vulnerable with people is an incredible healing process. How am I trying to be more kind? I'm trying to be kind to myself by learning to control the things that are in your grasp. I also write poetry and I've been posting poems that I think hopefully someone needs to hear that are comforting. I've tried to be a bit more patient. What's something kind that other people have done for me? Well, a few days ago was my birthday. My friends dropped a bouquet of flowers and snacks at my doorstep. I think something that's really nice that one of my friends did is she made me like a little, little postcard um, just reminding me, love me and miss me sort of thing. You know, that little reminder just made my day because it's something that we don't say to each other enough. I must have had my phone off for like two days and my friends were all calling me. It's nice that they have noticed that I was, you know, perhaps a bit distant. So something nice that I've done for someone during quarantine. Cooking dinners and stuff like that. And that's really helpful for my mum because she's working right now. A couple of my friends have gone through some hard days like we all have and as long as I can be there for them I feel like that's an act of kindness in itself. So how can we be kinder to each other? Being able to listen to other people and not belittle them. By putting life into perspective right now I think if you actually just stop and think about how fortunate we are, how blessed we are to just be alive, I feel as though you become grateful and in gratitude I think there's kindness. Being more understanding and open-minded and you know that is what destroys stigma within ourselves within other people because we need to be more understanding to ourselves as well. It's very hard, damn near impossible to be kind to others if you're not kind to yourself. My generation, generation Z, we can't really let the others tell us we're a group because a group is formed by individuals and individuals they all have got their own problems. My suggestion will always be be kind to anybody which is next to you. Just remembering that you're important and your mental health is important and that you're not suffering alone. We're, we're alone but together and so yeah okay. I'm gonna go.